UTA students had the opportunity to hear Mark Fine's Communication Day lecture. With a bachelor's degree in broadcast journalism and theater from the University of Miami, Mark, his wife, and their four kids just recently moved back to Dallas-Fort Worth. St. Pete, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Atlanta, Dallas, Atlanta, Dallas. Although he's NBC5's newest anchor, his 20 years of broadcast experience was not lost among the satisfied audience. I like the fact that he talked about technology and how you really have to be in tune. Mark uh, hit it pretty much on the head about the, uh, the perseverance. What makes Mark special amongst the rest of our more well-known DFW anchors is his extensive background in sports. He was a sideline reporter for college football, was a dugout reporter for the playoffs in baseball, was a sideline reporter for the NBA. Something else that makes Mark special? Giving UTA News an exclusive inside look at the sportscaster turned news anchor's typical day at work. Mark says he likes to start his work day listening in on the morning pitch meeting right here in the conference room. This is when the team gets together and discusses ideas for the newscast. I watch the 11. And then I'm doing the 5 and 6 o'clock news right now, so I'll be preparing for that during the course of the day. Mark searches the internet to stay abrupt on the news. Then we have a 2 o'clock meeting in the afternoon. And then when we get around 4, 4.30, it's time to put on makeup, put the tie on, jacket on, and get ready. He's sure to look over his scripts before the newscast. <laughs> then it's showtime. Both of his co-anchors agree that he's a good fit. His sports background has been perfect as he transitions into news. He's very comfortable, he's very confident. No doubt he's fitting in perfectly. Mark is truly one of the nicest, most real people I've ever worked with on camera. And besides that, he really needs this job because he has four kids to support and send to college. Making the switch from sports to news was an important decision. Uh, I was very excited about it. I was a little anxious about it as well because it, it was going to be a big change for me, but it, it's gone great so far. I love what I do. Um, if you love it, I think it, it's worth it to have that patience and be persistent and, and hopefully you get a job doing something that you love. In Fort Worth, this is Christine Nicholson for UTA News.